What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode we uh, managed to get uh, this sea gear right here on the bottom or whatever part of the screen that I left it on, and now it is finally time to move on right here because, yeah, we, we, we can't stay in one place at one time, and, uh, oh, there you are. Okay, so now I'm, fix I'm fixing up my, uh, my microphone just a bit. Okay, so before we leave, there's a little something here that we need to get before we leave. So... When you go to Route 2 right here, or yeah, Route 2, there is an area right here where you can actually cut a tree. Yes, that was our first encounter with the tree. We can go right here, and after, after that, we can actually find ourselves two items that we desperately need. One being the Super Potion right here, you know, free of cost, or free of charge. And, uh, let's see, the other one right here, yes, we found ourselves a Great Ball, which... Again, always great. Okay, so now that we uh, cleared the mystery of uh, the, the, the mysterious tree right here, now it is time to go straight to another town, another foreign land right here in our adventure in Unova. Yeah, that's right, guys. After winning the badge, we are feeling like pimps, like uh, big mech daddies and all that stuff. Now, if you go right here, you'll be able to find another item. Yes, we found ourselves another great ball. So look at that, two great balls for the cost of one. Look at that. That's awesome right there. And, uh, well, there's some stuff right here this old man right here will not be blocking you anymore so that is also great and uh, here we are in route three and you're gonna be able to find a few things such as the daycare um and other stuff you know like double battles and all that crud so what we're going to do first is we're gonna be battling everybody and I mean everybody because we need the training and uh, well we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon right here as you already know Ace and Sai are the only two members so far of this team Mr. Teeny and Bandit are just here for, you know, just for support and all that stuff. We might even use them for, uh, for like a HM slavery or something like that. So here we go. Twins, Kumi, and Amy want to battle. And they're going to be coming out with their Meow Meow Purloins. Okay. Bring it on. Let's go. Okay. So here we go. You got Cyan and Ace. You know, I've always wanted to try this. Let's go with the Helping Hand. See what that does. And, uh, we all know this. Cats hate water, so here we go. Helping hand. Everybody's ready. Here we go. Water gun. Eat that. You have been soaked. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Ace and Psy. Make a great team right here. And, wow, scratch attack. You gotta love that one. So, actually, no. We already did that. So, nope. Not the bite attack. Remember, it's a dark type Pokemon. And here we go. Another water gun attack. Yes. Alrighty. Time to get this water gun. Yeah, buddy. Ah, uh, yes, and, uh... Ah, crud. It's a tackle attack and all that stuff. Here we go again. Another tackle attack, and yes, you have fainted, you a-hole Pokemon right there. That's right. Ace has grown to level 15 right there. And it's learning takedown, another great move, especially since it's physical. So I'm gonna take away the tackle attack, and I'm gonna give it takedown. With, you know, the, the, the risk of getting hurt with, uh... You know, a little bit of a... Getting hurt a little bit with a... What, what you would call it? A recoil. Yes. Alrighty. So we're victorious right here. So that's one battle right there. As you can see, there is a daycare right here. So this is where you can actually breed Pokemon. And uh, this one right here... I believe is the daycare for the kids. So we're going to be battling a few kids here and there. I think there's a... Let's see. I think there's somebody in here that gives us an item. Now, if you talk to this lady, she'll heal your Pokemon. But... I think somebody in here gives you an item. Let's see. Running a daycare. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's the daughter of the daycare people. We will be using this lady in just a little bit, but right now, we're going to be battling everybody. So let's go. Who's next? Alrighty. Let's get this. Alrighty. I didn't even read that. Alright. So here we go. Nursery Aid Autumn would like to battle. And I'm going to be. I'm just going to be destroying everybody with my might and my muscles and everything else in between like that alrighty okay let's go let's get this alrighty so let's take uh, let's take care of this uh, right here with a takedown attack should be uh, super effective and yes it is effective not super effective by the way and uh, yeah buddy okay so she's gonna be coming out with the Muna so let's go ahead and switch out my Pokemon right here to Psy Psy of the Torrent alrighty Let's go, let's go. Alright, Sigh of the Torrent. Getting this work done. Alrighty. So, Muna, the Psychic-type Pokemon right here, 
Eh, it should be, it should be easy to beat, right? It should be. Maybe. I don't even know. But look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. And, uh, well... There's a psychic attack right there, or a side beam, or confusion, and... I didn't even read that. I'm not even paying attention to this right here. <laughs> Alrighty. So there we go. Another side wave for the win for this Pokemon right here. And, uh, we'll take care of, uh... Well, we're just gonna get hit here and there. So here, let's go again. End of the tackle attack. Hopefully, for the win. Alrighty. There we go. That's how you do it right there, guys. Yes, yes. And, uh, we're getting experience points up the butt right now. Alrighty, so we defeated this person. Now, before we battle anybody, including these three trainers, you go into the sand pit right here, and you'll be able to find yourself an Ultra Ball. Which is always good, because you don't normally get an Ultra Ball until, like, way, way later on. Uh, just remember, every time you defeat a gym leader, you get more items at the Pokemon. So, we're gonna be battling this guy right here, taking... And taking on another kid who's aspiring to be the very best, like no one ever was. Coming out with the Pants Age. Okay, another elemental monkey right here. Okay. So, the first, uh, I would like to say the first two areas. Main areas, uh, I mean, the mo main areas in Unova in Pokemon Black and White. You're going to be seeing a lot of uh, normal, dark, and uh, a lot of elemental monkeys around. Not a lot of, uh, you know... Not a, lot of, not a lot of diversity at first, but then afterwards you're gonna figure it out that, you know, once you get to the main, the main gym leaders and all that stuff, yeah, it's gonna get more diverse and a little bit harder. That's the, uh, that's the wonders of Unova right here, since you're only allowed to use Unova and Pokemon. So let's go ahead and middle this lady right here. She wants to play with me. Does she want to play with me? I don't even know. Let's get this. Preschooler Tuli wants to battle, and she's coming out with her pants here. Okay, it's almost like I knew what she was going to come out with. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. Alrighty. Water gun. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Super effective. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. We're really close to evolving right here. Okay. So, I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon again because I believe we're going to be facing off against Pampoor. Don't want to mess with that very, very much. So, here we go. Hey, trainer, have a battle with me. Okay. Alrighty. So, while I'm doing this, guys, I just want to say, or I just want to give a huge shout out to this man again, just because. I not because I said I would, but yeah, I'm very, very thankful for uh, for the, the work that has been uh, done for me. As you already noticed on my avatar, on my channel, and, you know, the little man that, that has been created, to my personality and all that stuff, I would like to give a huge shout-out to an artist astray. You can only, I think you can only find him on Instagram. Yeah, if you can find him on Instagram, the link's going to be right there down below and all that crud. And what the hell? Oh, yeah, I had an Orenberry. Oh, crud. Yeah, if you guys can find him right there on Instagram, follow that man, say thank you for me, because this man is the reason why we have this uh, majestic, good-looking, uh, badass coach, badass host uh, of a personality, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, personality, or personal per Pokemon trainer right here. So, an artist astray, if you're watching these, uh, these videos and all that stuff, thank you very, very much for you know, making this uh, happen, and believe it or not, I'm going to keep on going to him. So now, before we even battle, actually, you know what, we got to heal up our Pokemon first, because, yeah, we got a little something waiting for us right here, so, let's see, it just ate right now, so I just kind of hicked up a little, so, let's go ahead and talk to this lady, yes, she will be healing up our Pokemon, that's always great. Okay, so, let's move on right here, and, uh, now... We are ready to take on the next challenge, which will be our rival, slash friend, and all that stuff. And, oh, bruh, there he is, Sharon. Do not challenge me. Draven, stop. We both have a trio badge, so let's see which of us is stronger. Hmm. You won't win. So here it is, guys, another battle against Sharon. Kind of sounds French right here. Or kind of like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Do not challenge me. So here we go. Coming out with a, a Snivy, and uh, okay, well, Snivy, meet your doom right here. Here we go, takedown attack. That's right, eat this takedown. And it survives, but we still get a recoil, and look at that. It has a berry to eat, to eat upon, and oh yeah, oh yeah, this Pokemon came prepared and all that fun stuff. Alrighty, 
Okay, and uh, here we have another pickup item, and we found ourselves another Ormberry. <laughs> oh, damn. This, uh, you are a very, very good dog, Ace. Very good dog, and crud did not defeat him like that. And, uh, okay, so we're gonna have to go with another takedown, with the risk of getting that recoil on us. And there you go, Snivy has been defeated. Alrighty. And, uh, yeah, more recoil, and thanks to that whole, uh, citrus berry that we just picked up, look, or orange berry, we're okay. And look at that, level 16. Good boy. Alrighty, so he's gonna be coming out with his purloin right here, and, uh, well, Sigh of the Torrent, coming out, getting ready to defeat you. Alrighty. Okay, Sigh of the Torrent versus Purloin, the kitty cat, scratchy cat. Alrighty, we all know, water defeats cats. So there it is, eat that water gun, and uh, the assist attack might be going with the Vine Whip, right? Nope, just a wrap. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. See, this is the reason why I didn't choose, uh, or you guys didn't chose Snivy, because Snivy's not, not, to me, is not that good. Maybe not until Pokemon Black or White. Yeah, it's probably that. Okay, so here we go. Water gun attack. Yes. Eat it, Perloin. How does it feel to fail? And look at that. Sigh of the Torrent grows to level 17, and it wants to learn Razor Shell. Alrighty. Okay, another new water type move. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? I kind of want to save Water Gun. So, we really don't have any need for Water Sport right now. So, we can have two Water Gun or Water Attacks right there. One with 10 PP, the other one with, you know, 30, 25, whatever, and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, it's a good fix right there. And, uh, oh. Would you look at that? Ace is finally evolving. Alrighty. So, our first evolution right here, guys, comes in the form of Ace the Wonder Dog. After a nice amount of battling and all that stuff, it, it you know, it's earned the right to evolve and morph up or whatever. And it becomes a pretty cool Pokemon right here. One step closer to Stoutland of Scotland. And, uh, oh, look at that. Ace has evolved into Herdier with the majestic mustache. Look at that mustache on that guy. I'm jealous of him. It's a good boy. And, uh, oh. Would you look at that? The partner Pokemon has evolved, so Sigh of the Torrent is also evolving as well. Look at that. Two evolutions in one episode, two evolutions simultaneously. Oh my god. I'm so happy about this. Now, again, excuse the music and all that stuff for being slow. Again, you know, a little new to uh, recording this whole DS thing, uh, live comment, all that stuff. But as you can see right here, BAM! Sigh of the Torrent has also evolved into Duat. Okay, alrighty, so that's pretty, two pretty good Pokemon right there. And after defeating Charon, he's like, I see! So that's how you battle. And next thing you know it, out of the way! Oh crud, what the hell's going on? Oh shoot! Crap baskets. Okay, so what's going on right here? What was that all about? And uh, Bianca, why are you why are you running? Bianca's running with her friend right here. Hey, were those the people or where, or where were those people headed? Uh, I don't know that way, but uh, why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Little girl's like, Miss, oh my Pokemon. Uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Don't cry. Bianca, really? Why were you running? She doesn't answer the question. You have to hear this. Those people stole this poor girl's Pokemon. You should have spoken sooner. Hmm. Okay. Draven, we're going to get that Pokemon back. Bianca, please stay by the girl's side. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, so he, he's the one in charge right here. It's not all about me, right? Um, yeah. Anywho, let's just move on right here. And uh, there's an item right there. Yeah, we should probably get that item. So, we got attacked by a Pokemon, we got attacked. Okay, so that was a Zip Striker. Not a Zip Striker, but a Blitzel. And I thought about it. Yeah, I wanted to capture it, but, you know, like I was saying, Blitzel. A good Pokemon to actually have, but I've already tried it once or twice. It's not really a capable Pokemon for my adventure. Yes, it does learn Flame Charge and all that stuff. But still, it's not, I don't really, it's not necessary right now, if that's what I'm trying to say right here. Uh, before we go anywhere, yes, I completely forgot about this. Let's go ahead and check out our two new Pokemon, Ace and Psy. So as you can see right here, Herdier, the newest Pokemon. He's looking all majestic and all that stuff with that parka and that majestic mustache. Look at that. And then uh, his stats. Oh, look at that. His stats are pretty, do uh, they're doing well. You know, it's attack. 
He's, he's much a, a, a physical attacker. Now, the only thing that gets me, uh, gets me a little angry is the fact that it loses its pickup ability. Now it has Sand Rush, which means that it boosts its Pokemon speed in Sandstorm. So, I guess that's okay. I don't even know. And then, uh, let's see. Sigh of the Torrent. So, as you can see, it is now a Duat, and its stance has grown quite considerably right here. As you can see, it's not much of a special defender, but it is a physical attacker and a special attacker. So it's the best of both worlds. And of course, its ability is still Torrent. Yeah, that's why I called it Sigh of the Torrent. Pretty good Pokemon right there. That's right. Okay, so let's move on right here and uh, take care of a few businesses here and there. And uh, we're just going to let her watch us. Okay, look at me. There we go. She looked at us. Okay, I feel so loved. What's up, girl? Your Pokemon look so quite good. Would you show me how to... Have you been training them? Of course. I will show you. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle. Against Pokemon breeder, Adelaide. Adelaide. Okay, Adelaide. Coming out with her Patrat. And uh, I'm here with uh, with uh, Ace. Close to being Stoutland from Scotland. That's right. So here we go. Takedown attack. Takes out this Patrat. It had no chance whatsoever. And uh, it's coming out with another Lillipump, so I'm going to go straight to Sigh of the Torrent right here. Just to use some pretty nifty moves like Razor Shell, Water Gun, Tackle, you know, that kind of stuff right there. Alrighty. Alright, so let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this Pokemon right here. So let's go Razor Shell. Take those Razors out and eat that shell. Look at that. Takes him out with one hit. Pretty good Pokemon. Very, very good Pokemon. And she does have a P-Dub. So let's go right ahead and take care of this with a P-Dub. Alrighty. Alright, so here we go. Razor Shell for the win. Engage. Yeah, buddy. Okay, look at that. My Pokemon are doing pretty well right there. Very, very well. Hmm. And after you defeat a Pokemon Breeder, they will always give you something back. Or a Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Breeder? Yeah, Pokemon Breeder. She gives us an Oran Berry, which is always good. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. So let's grab this item right here. And we found ourselves a Repel, which, well, we can actually obtain after defeating the first Gym Leader. Now, let's go straight into this uh, cave for right, right here. So Charon's waiting for us. He's like, they ran inside here! Draven, your Pokemon's HP is fine and you're ready to go, right? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm always ready. The heck you talking about? Then let's go. Okay, so let me do a little something right here. Let me go ahead and switch out my Pokemon because we will be battling a, a trainer here or there. So let's go and battle some Pokemon trainers. Okay. And Jaren's like, Draven, this bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. Oh, damn. Team Plasma's like, that child cannot use Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make a Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all of your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now! Better yet, we'll just take them. Oh damn. And they're talking about Pokemon Liberation, when really they're just trying to steal Pokemon. I just don't get their theories. Okay, so here we go, going up against a Team Plasma Grunt, and they will be coming out with a Patrat. Okay, let's go Patrat. Let's see what you got. Okay, let's go Duat. Show them who's the boss right here. Razor Shell. Let's get it. Razor Shell. Oh, wow. It's using Bind, but it won't survive because here's that Razor Shell. Takes him out. One hit. KO. That's right. Sigh of the Torrent. You are awesome. With a capital A. That's right. Team Plasma's like, what? How could we lose when we have the right, when we have right on our side? Not bad, Draven. Okay. Go return the Pokemon to that girl. You don't need to return it. Oh, damn. There's more of them? Oh, crud. How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in your way to boot. There's two of you uh, and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you how to... Uh, how, or teach you that we are right. Yeah, so here we go. More of them. Okay, alrighty. Still, why are you... Uh, why are Pokemon robbers acting like self-righteous? Hmm. Draven. We've been friends our whole lives. Not really. We've got each other's back when it comes to uh, when it counts. Let's show them uh, how it's done. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. I can do this. I don't know about you, Charon, but uh, 
Eh, well, I'm gonna show you how it's done. At least I evolved my Pokemon. They look pretty awesome right here. So here we go. We got two Patrats against Snivy and Duat, or Sigh of the Torrent. Look at that. And he's just amazed because my Pokemon's already evolved. I'm kicking ass, taking names and all that stuff. So I'm gonna take this pet rat and of course he's gonna be using Bide. Uh, you dick. Okay, so here we go. Razor Shell for the win. And there we go, Patrat eliminated. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And uh, well, let's see if that works out for you. No, it doesn't. And uh, oh crud. Well, at least this uh, Pat Rat has the uh, has another, uh, the wherewithal to actually attack us and stuff. So here we go again. Razor Shell for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Easy victories, and I, I got both of these Pokemon. So really, I didn't need Sharon for this whole thing. And Team Plasma's like, in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Whatever. What a waste of time. Come on, what reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Hmm. Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. Mm, what do you mean, trainers? Or what do you mean, trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get it at all. This guy's telling them, we'll give you back the Pokemon. But be aware of how uh, how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own complicity. It's a big word right there, complicity. Alrighty. Trainers bring out the, the Pokemon's strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about uh, that makes uh, Pokemon suffer. Okay, Draven, I'll return the Pokemon. Okay. Anywho, guys, we're not done just yet. So we're in the Wayward Cave, and uh, there is a specific Pokemon that I want to capture and add to the team. It's going to take me a while to actually capture him, but you know what? You guys are going to be surprised. You know, kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted to do this for quite some time. So uh, I'll be right back, and I'm going to show you guys team member number three for this team. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So as you can see, the next Pokemon on our list is Trilber. Took us quite a while to find this guy. Yeah, about almost an hour. Yeah, that's what happens when you forget to buy repels to guy to try and find this guy. And then on top of that, we found ourselves a bunch of uh, stones, crystals, and all that stuff. Yeah, really didn't like it. So I had to restart over and over and over again in in until we got this guy. So yeah, the only way you can get Drillbur in the Wayward Cave is if uh, you know you see a puff of smoke coming out. That usually means it's either a Drillbur or you know. A diamond or here or there. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this little bastard. I'm gonna use Incinerate just to weaken it right here. That's right. You're gonna be weakened. I want you. You are an awesome. Po oh wow. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it has some pretty good defense right there. Uh, good defenses or resistances. Resistances is, is uh, the the uh, the uh, fire type Pokemon. So I'm gonna lick this guy right here. That way it can paralyze. Yeah, buddy. And you are now paralyzed. Ha ha ha. That's right, you cannot move. Okay, so Mr. Teeny, you are you are fulfilling your duties right here, homeboy. Fulfilling the duties. And, uh, well, there's another razor spin or something. So we're just going to keep on weakening this guy. Hopefully we capture him. And uh, that's probably weak enough, but here comes that mud slap. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, okay. So that was a critical hit. Took us down a notch, but we're going to be okay. Okay, alrighty. So... Oh, look at that. I completely forgot about that whole, uh, Oran Berry that I, uh, that I, uh, equipped it with. So, let's go right ahead and use a Pokeball right here. So, uh, you know what? This Pokemon right here, I would use the Dust Ball. But I kind of want to use the Ultra Ball. Dust Ball, Ultra Ball, Dust Ball, Ultra Ball. Fuck it, let's go with the Ultra Ball right here. So, here we go, Ultra Ball. There it is. Alrighty, okay. Stay in that ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the god dang ball. Yes, sir, Rebub. You are in the ball. So there it is, guys. Our third member on our team, Drillbur. And I got the I got a proper nickname for this guy right here. So Drillbur, the mole Pokemon. It can dig through the ground at a speed of 30 miles per hour. It can give a car running above ground a good race. It's pretty cool. It's freaking awesome. So I got a good nickname for this guy right here. Kind of, uh... You know, the, uh, a day ago, I was actually watching, uh, what was it called, uh, The Black Panther, so I figured I might as well name this guy this. Let's call him this. Let's com combine names and stuff. Let's call this Pokemon Drillmonger. Alrighty. 
and uh, where's the R? That's right. I could I could have put like two L's on there, but yeah, it wasn't gonna fit. So welcome to the team, Drillmonger. Let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon right here, Drillmonger. Look at that guy. Gentle Nature, ground type Pokemon. Eventually, it evolves into a ground and steel type Pokemon. I know, I know, guys. There are a lot more better ground type Pokemon out there, but I want to use this Pokemon for once. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it has right here. As you can see, its gentle nature will affect its defense by a, by a lie and its special defense by a little bit more. So it's a good combination right there. And its ability is Sand Force, which of course certain moves will actually power, power up during a sandstorm. So if you guys have a sandstorm technique on this guy, bam, it's over with. It's done. It is done. It's over with. Okay, so let me switch out my Pokemon right here. Do not want to run into any more Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's use one of these repels right here because I really don't want to battle any of these Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and grab that item and then get the F out of here. So let's see, right here, grab this, and look at that. We got the TM46 Thief. This is awesome. Alrighty, so getting the H out of here and, uh,. That is pretty much it right there. So now we have to go back and return that Pokemon to that young lady and see what, what, what the whole fuss is about. So if you talk to these girls right now, Bianca's like, Craven, thank you so much. The two of you got her Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have friends like you two. And the little girl's like, thank you, mister. Please take these as a thank you pre uh, present. I was about to say represent. And there it is, guys. She gives us a few heal balls, which is always great. Always good to have more Pokeballs in stock. Oh, those are heal balls. They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet of you. I'm going to see this girl on her way. So see you later, Draven. Bye-bye. See you, Bianca. You're my girl, Bianca. That's right. Okay, guys. So we're going to take our time and we're going to pause it right here. In the next episode, we're going to make our way to Nat Green City. But in the meantime, you know, we're just going to be battling here and there. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next episode going into Nat Green City and all that stuff. So see you guys next time. <laughs>